Africa show. Yo, you already know it's King Africa Mac back with another episode of the Africa show. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's get straight into it. So, yo, it's 2021, right? Truth or false? And I gotta say this, right? Aren't we in a day and age where we gotta accept everything? Right? Or oh, actually, pause. Not accept everything. But we gotta be, we in a space where, or in a day and age where, we shouldn't disrespect anything. We don't have to accept it, but we shouldn't disrespect it. We see what's going on with the baby and the whole situation where he disrespected the LGBTQ community. And it's like, as as much as I fuck with him and everybody fucks with him, it's like, yeah, it is wrong. Even though it's like the whole, well, that's a whole different thing. But it's like, yeah, it is wrong because it's like you shouldn't just go disrespect anybody. That's not cool at all. So, Brian, with that being said, though, it's like, yo, do y'all want black niggas to kill each other? Or just males in general? Y'all want us to keep killing each other and beefing and being on some toxic masculinity shit? Or do y'all want us to love each other and embrace each other and be cool? Because I say that to say, is a clip that Young Thug just had a birthday. Happy birthday, Young Thug. You feel me? Everybody got what would you call it? Say about Young Thug about how he was this and that, blah blah. But there's a clip of Young Thug getting gifted, uh, what you call it? Um, a pink. What's this shit called? Hold on, let me check. There's a video of Young Thug getting p- gifted a pink Bentley by Gunna, right? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you got yeah. <laughs> Come on, big. Punk a bitch. Woo! Once we want to punk back, punk back. <laughs> and it's just so crazy because it's like you would think that that's like, oh, that's very wholesome. That's cool. Your man's giving you a gift or whatever. But when you look at the comments, it's the comments for me, dog. When you look at the comments and you see all the negativity slash like, like just hate, you're like, what the fuck? And it's from the same people who most of the time jack some, oh, yo, y'all black males doing this and that. Y'all, all y'all do is kill each other, this and that. Y'all gotta love each other. Y'all hate on the gay community. Bro, look at, let's read the comments again. Let's look at some of these comments. All his boyfriends. All his boyfriends rich. What the hell? These niggas be dating. I don't care. These girls been showing out. Okay, thug and Auntie Gunna. Um, hold up. I'm pretty sure they kissed somehow in that club bathroom. And what else? That's what I'm saying. This it's a whole lot. These dudes have no problem spoiling these men. Y'all trying to give a hint, blase, blase, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, what the fuck? So now that's gay, and that's gay for you to receive a gift from a nigga that you potentially changed his fucking life. Y'all niggas didn't know who Gunner was before Young Thug. A lot of y'all niggas did not know that. A lot of y'all bitches did not know that. But all of a sudden now, when he gives him a fucking pink Bentley. Now it's like, oh, this thing. And it's like, damn, it's gay for niggas to show their man's love. Like, how the fuck? But if he shoot him in the back of the fucking head, back door his ass, then it's like, oh, okay. That, that, oh, yeah, that's, oh, this and that. Nah, that's fucking crazy. Because then that's the weird part, though. It's like, it's so weird. There's a whole nother thing, too. It's weird how people associate love with sexual shit. Remember, as men, people say it all the time. Oh, men, um... Be loving shit and they'll, well, men don't gotta love you to have sex with you. They could do this and that. So, I, with that same type of logic, why the fuck me loving my man's gotta be anything sexual, bro? That's y'all bitches. Y'all bitches is the one who do that. Y'all do that. Y'all the ones who, when y'all love y'all friend or whatever, y'all get drunk and end up eating pussy here and there. We don't get drunk and suck our friend's dick. We don't get drunk and our friends fuck us. We don't get drunk and do no fucking scissors, B. So that's y'all. That's what I'm saying. And it's just that to me, and I also see gay people in the comments. I'm like, yo, bro, ain't y'all supposed to be embracing shit like that? Like, yeah, love your bro, love your mans. Gift your mans, what you call it. And it's like, because of certain things like that, is reason why niggas like me, like I got a lot of friends, a lot of male friends that it's like I love, and I'm sure they love me back. But we not gonna, we don't blatantly just say, yo, we love you, bro, we this and that. Why? Because of society. 
And it's like, in this day and age, 2021, when we trying to be like, yo, let's fix all this thing and let's accept everybody or let's just embrace it or just understand where everybody's coming from. How the fuck are we doing the same? Well, how the fuck are we not giving that same energy? Man, happy birthday, young thug. Shout out to my niggas, man. Shout out to the bros. Shout out to the men. All the men's dumb, you feel me? Yo, if you love your mans, you got to tell them. At this day and age, at this point, man, we got to embrace each other. Because it's like, the world's against us at this point, yo. So we got to love each other. And we got to tell each other, like, hey, bro, I love you. I fuck with you. You know what I mean? And, and no, it's not gay, nigga. It's not gay unless you sucking dick or getting dick in your ass, bro. Or unless you in love, like, in a relationship. Like, you know what I mean? Because it's like that, with that same type of toxic tr thing, blase, blase, that's what makes straight men, quote, quote, have animosity towards gay men for no fucking reason. It's not even because they, straight men hate gay men. That's what I'm saying. It's like, that makes no fucking sense. Know what I mean? That's like hating somebody. Nobody just hates somebody because, well, some people do, and that's hate. But some people just hate niggas for, of course, I mean, for whatever their preference they have, but it's like, all right, cool, 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 cool. But in that sense, though, it's like, yo, that's crazy. And then even with the, let's go deeper, um, 21 Savage has said, like, oh, happy birthday. Look at the birthday girl or whatever. And people ran with that. It's funny, though. It is funny. I'm not going to lie. It is funny. People ran with that. It was like, oh, this and that, blah, blah. They trying to tell us. It's like, damn. That's how niggas play, bro. That's how niggas play. Niggas joke like that. Like, we can joke like that. Like, that's, he's not trying to call Young Thug gay or none of that. He, niggas is joking. Let me tell you a funny thing. One of my, <laughs> I got a, um, a friend who I used to work with or whatever. What up? Uh, ex-co-worker but he's gay and he made a funny ass joke one time to me and to me i thought that shit was hilarious he was like um that was it was me him and some chick talking and uh, another one of our co-workers and he said some shit like man you know that nigga homeless that nigga don't got no crib and i was weak because me like you see my videos a lot i'll be walking around and shit and i'll be having shit and i'll be having like nigga if you see like i'm a Virgo, bro i got mad shit in my back so you feel me like Cause I don't, you never know what time you gonna need something, nigga. I probably got a tampon for your bitch in there, nigga. Just saying. <laughs> so, yeah, when he made that joke, it was so funny because it's like, yeah, that nigga's probably. Oh, that's funny because it's like, oh, nigga, nigga got his whole all his collecting <laughs> on him because he's homeless. Nah, nigga, I got a crib, nigga. You see my daughter painting right there. You see my myself drawing painting right there. Yeah, nigga, I got a, I got a crib. <laughs> But yeah, <laughs> but yeah, so it was just like funny, and that's what I'm saying. It's like, yo, and like I said, he was gay, but it's just that, yo, dudes just joke like that. Like, it is what it is, but it's just like, yeah, man, when we gonna stop that shit, man? Are we gonna stop that shit? Like, comment, subscribe, let's see. What, what are y'all thoughts on that, though? Like, should men love each other and embrace each other and show love to each other, or should we just kill each other? Black men, all men, what should we do? Africa show.